Welcome back to Medicare Tube USA. Today we will know about botfly larvae infestation live extraction. But before we proceed, if you are new on Medicare Tube USA, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for instant and regular updates. Let's start. Botfly larvae infestations occur when a botfly lays its eggs on a host, often via an intermediate vector like a mosquito. The eggs hatch into larvae, which burrow into the host's skin, creating a small raised lesion that serves as their breathing hole and point of egress. This condition, called myiasis, is both fascinating and unsettling. Identification the affected area often appears as a red swollen bump, sometimes with a visible central hole. The host may experience pain, itching, or a crawling sensation. Preparation. The area is cleaned with antiseptic to reduce the risk of infection. Proper tools such as tweezers, forceps, or specialized extraction devices are prepared. Suffocation technique, which is optional. To coax the larva out, the hole can be covered with occlusive substances like petroleum jelly, adhesive tape, or even bacon fat. This blocks oxygen to the larva, encouraging it to wriggle closer to the surface. Manual extraction. A firm grip is taken on the visible part of the larva using sterile forceps. Gentle, consistent pulling is applied to avoid breaking the larva, as leftover parts can lead to infection or inflammation. Extreme care ensures the larva is removed intact, as rupturing it can cause secondary complications. Aftercare. The wound is thoroughly cleaned and disinfected. A sterile dressing is applied to promote healing. Antibiotics may be prescribed if there's a risk of bacterial infection. Observation. Monitoring continues to ensure no additional larvae are present, and the wound heals without complications. Appearance of extraction. During extraction, the larva is typically cream-colored, segmented, and may resist removal by contracting or wriggling. Once removed, its size can be surprising, as it often appears much larger outside the body than the bump implied. This procedure should ideally be done by a medical professional to minimize risks and complications.